Well, AI has come such a long way and I try to keep up with it mostly in terms of the AI generative art. So that's where I try to keep my focus because it's more of a practical application. But anyway, enough of me talking about that. I want to talk about how far, how each one's just kind of like a, a gut check on each one, see how well it's doing and who's doing well and who is doing not quite as good. In particular arenas, they have kind of their strengths in different arenas. So in this case, I want to be talking about um, kind of playful animal um, illustrations. And this is sort of you know, maybe a little bit Pixar cartoonish, but also realistic and you can combine them both. My prompt actually said, well, I'm just going to read my prompt. A photo of a joyful little white mouse happily jumping up and down on a piano and playing the keys. Okay, so we got to be able to do an animal um, uh, kind of uh, anthropomorphic. Gosh, what is that word again? Nah, I'll look it up later. Um, but anyway, so it's got to uh, look like kind of have some human features, what I'm trying to say, and uh, be on a piano. So if you kind of mix a few things. So let's start off. And I want to go from worst to first. Um, and it was a little surprising to me, some of these results. So let's check it out. Okay, here we are in Photoshop. And the first uh, sample I have is the mouse, which this looks bad. This looks like about a year ago. It's just not very good. Um, and, you know, the mouse just looks bad. The key, everything looks superimposed. This looks like just even not even good for Photoshop. So we've kind of got realistic, two realistic things and one thing that just looks completely fake. And yeah, I would not. This one, I, would, I do kind of like the mouse. It's just, he's inside something. It's not even a real keyboard. It's weird. Okay. And this was done by Leonardo uh, AI and um, using their Pixar Disney one. I just figured this would have the best chance of doing something well. And nope, not at all. Moving on. So that's last place. Okay, in sixth place, this is, uh, well, it looks like a mouse on keys. There's some realism to the mouse to some degree, but it doesn't look joyful. It looks kind of terrifying. And the keyboard, I, yeah, okay. So a lot of photorealism on the picture. It's just the keyboard is weird and the mouse is not what I wanted. Although in a lot of ways, it does look like a real mouse just with a kind of a, a growl. Okay, and now it's sort of leaping, like uh, it got its toes caught between the keys. A lot of realism there, a little bit of deformity. Um, doesn't look joyful at all, but it kind of does look like a real mouse. It's just, um, what's with this keyboard? This is a really bad keyboard. Um, so that would be uh, Leonardo um, and Stable Diffusion 2.1. I don't have X anymore because the trial ended and I'm not going to pay for X, or, and I don't want to load it on my PC at the moment. So... There you go. Next, we have another one. I don't know what's going on. He's like throwing some stuff, uh, some realism in the mouse, but then you kind of get down here and think what's going on. He's kind of inside the key. Um, the hands, oh gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even know if their hands look like that at all. It looks like it's missing an ear and the mouth is weird. Yeah, in this keyboard. And what is this? The backside of a chicken? I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's just, what's with the keyboard? I, I don't know. It's like, I don't even know if uh, this is, um, I should say, this is Dream Shaper by Leonardo. And um, yeah, I thought this one was kind of kept up to date, but this is this is pretty bad as far as the keyboard. Can Leonardo even do a keyboard? I, I'm curious about this. Um, this is fifth place, but let's just, let's for fun, let's just see if I can do a keyboard. I'm just going to say piano keyboard or piano. Okay, so now I have piano keyboard as the prompt and yeah, this again, I believe is Dream Shaper, but it, it's just, it's just awful. I mean, it has no idea what a keyboard is. So that kind of makes it an interesting thing because I've seen some great, it, it does well, I guess, at some people and some fantasy, but it does not do well for realistic stuff. So I would never, at this point, I wouldn't pay for it at all. All right, now we've reached the next level and you can definitely see the difference now. The quality of the photo is much better. Um, does not match the prompt too well. It's kind of a mouse next to a keyboard, but um, a lot of realism in it. It's just sort of this, I think they're trying to keep it like what mice can really do when mice, I don't believe, can really smile. So I don't knock it too much for that. I knock it because the keyboard's awful. I mean, it just doesn't look like, it looks like a very big mouse or small keyboard, and I don't know what this is. So it didn't match the prompt very well. Um, they get four attempts. Um, a definitely cuter mouse and maybe that's smiling and maybe the paws are okay. There's a lot I like about this. 
It's just, yeah, the keyboard, once again, this is not a realistic keyboard or this mouse is incredibly big. So I would have wanted to zoom in and be at the right place on the keyboard um, or have the mouse tiny. But yeah, so I, you know, a lot of points for this one. It's not bad. Um, and again, it's, it's this in fourth place. Okay, now we've got some weird stuff going on with the fur. What is this keyboard? Does this program not know a keyboard? This looks like a horror movie. So no. Um, and this one looks, yeah, the teeth. I don't like these sharp little teeth. Um, and the keyboard again is messed up and I don't know what these things are. And yeah, I mean, just, it composed a nice photo. The, the quality of the photo is cool, but just the fact that what is going on? Okay. So we looked at four things from this program and this was mid journey. So mid journey is in fourth place which surprised me because often mid journey is in first place or second place, but usually not fourth. Um, in this case, I think it did a bad job at the piano and the mouse does not look happy. So yeah, it looks realistic to some degree, but not happy. So yeah, that's why it's fourth. All right, let's look at this one. Um, the quality has changed quite a bit. Now we're not looking at some photo realistic, but I did say a photo. The piano is out of some sort of fantasy world. Um, there's an extra weird thing that must be a tail, legs, this, that. Uh, chick I, yeah, it, this is horrifying. This is just really bad. No, but then again, now we go here. The piano is a little off, better here. So this is more of a kind of a stylized art. But you got a really kind of a cute mouse with it's pretty well made. Yeah, I'd say overall. This is usable in some ways, especially if it were to become vector art. This would be usable. Um, it's just I can't rank it too well because, uh, you know, it doesn't look like a photo. But in a lot of ways, it, it ranks very high. That's why I gave it third place, um, because that one's pretty cool. And this one, OK, now kind of photorealistic. Um, the keyboard, they added the notes. Um, and the hands and some weird stuff going on down there. The keyboard, it's wrong, but it's kind of close. And for this style of art, yeah, I don't know if people would care that much, but I do love the, the smiling, happy. It really captured a lot of things about what I put in the prompt, just not photorealistic, and that keyboard is not working, and there are a few problems with anatomy. And finally, okay, now we're kind of getting closer to a photo, but what is the keyboard? The keyboard is actually... And not bad in some ways, at least right here. Um, C, D, E, F, uh, a little bit messed up. But the mouse, yeah, it looks like uh, they tried. Some cool things about it, but it's just deformed. I mean, there's a lot of deformity, so it didn't win. Um, this program is Ideogram, and it's notable because if you want good text right now, Ideogram is one of the best places, even though some of the other ones are getting much better. I find that... Ideogram gets me the correct spelling about 50% of the time, which is actually pretty good. So I like Ideogram, but it just depends on what you want it to do. This is kind of outside of its comfort zone. So as I was getting the logo for Ideogram, I noticed on the homepage there is a button for photos, which I don't think I had clicked the first time. So just to be fair, I did the same thing over again. So they kind of got a second chance and I do have photo enabled. So, I, uh, okay, really kind of a cute mouse, but the totally deformed hands, then the keyboard's not correct, but the smile is. So it's almost if this were the only problem, I'd fix it in Photoshop, and I probably would use this because I like it except, yeah, the keyboard. Let's move on. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if mouse, they really look like this with their legs. It looks like it's mixing another creature. I can't tell. Deformed hands, keyboard's messed up. Um, it is, again, it's enough to be in third place, but not any higher. Uh, kind of jumping, whiskers on one side, tails messed up. Um, so, and this is really like a cute little uh, titmouse. Um, this one's really, really well done as far as, uh, there's a lot of photorealism here and believability for a lot of it. The keyboards are looking a little weird, the keys. Um, but not happy and not jumping. So it kind of did a good job if I just had a mouse on a keyboard, but not otherwise. So I, just to be fair, I wanted to include this because I don't think I had the right setting the first time.
We are in second place now. So second place is pretty close to first, obviously. And there's a few reasons why it's not in first, even though some of the stuff is pretty darn cool. The mouse looks real. The keyboard looks, uh, I think, yeah, I don't know. A keyboard is hard to tell. It definitely, I mean, because I'm taking so long and kind of telling you that it's definitely much better. So it kind of looks like a grand um, Steinway, maybe with some sheet music on top, the mouse. I mean, the only reason it's not first place is there's no, it's not joyful. The mouse isn't happy. I wanted a joyful mouse jumping up on the keys, but this is pretty good. This is pretty darn impressive. Again, that's why it's second place. Um, this kind of looks cool too, just missing the happiness. The keyboard looks realistic in some three, three, okay, the three, yeah, the keyboard is a little bit deformed, but, and the tail's kind of odd, maybe it, yeah, so there's some nice things about it. It's a realistic mouse to a lot of degrees, and it is kind of jumping, but it's also not joyful. But again, I know, again, mice don't smile, so it would have to fake that, especially for photorealism. So it's hard. I mean, the first and second place are not that far off. This one's is pretty cool. Uh, it kind of looks like almost like a little bit of a smile here. The keyboard, except you got this, 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 this is not a realistic keyboard, and maybe a church organ in some ways but no um it's kind of fallen off so it kind of missed missed the didn't stick the landing uh, i do like the mouse and the kind of the fact that it's almost smiling um and i think if first place hadn't had such a high level of cuteness to it then this could have been first place yeah i i like the mouse a lot and if the keyboard had been better then maybe this could have been a first place photo or at least helped its group there's their there's team efforts Okay, now you got this little mouse. It's kind of cute, and it looks like it's kind of up on the keys, and the keys uh, for it look pretty good. Yeah, this looks like a almost like a photo. I mean, I could yeah, yeah, the whiskers maybe a little too much, but there's no smiling, there's no joy. So I think if they had kind of caught the mouse to smile, that this group might have been in first place. It's just so close, but yeah, it didn't quite match the prompt, only because first place did such a good job. Um, this is Firefly, um, the second version from Adobe, and they've improved so much. I think they are taking the lead in some ways, at least in some categories, especially considering this time around Mid Journey was fourth. And yeah, this is this is pretty good. Ah, oh, man, I just get like almost emotional looking at this. This is just exactly what I wanted. The, the cuteness, the joy, the, the mouse who kind of looks real, but... Uh, it just kind of still has that, you know, Pixar-like quality to it. Um, the little pink hands. Uh, yeah, it's just a mouse. And the keyboard is not perfect, but it's still the, the bokeh effect. There's just so many great things about this. I mean, the, I could pick... The one thing about this group is I can pick any one of them, and I think I'd like it. Uh, but I just love this one. Joy, jumping on the keyboard. It matched it exactly. This is exactly what I asked for. Um, and, you know, I got another version of it. It is jumping. It is joyful. It is a mouse and it is a keyboard and it, it's a little deformed, but it's still pretty good. The whole fact that, wow, I cannot believe how far we've come in such a short time. Uh, that's two. Ah, and I was so hard. I was like, I only post one of these. I think the feet are a little deformed. It's kind of got human feet there in some ways. Um, and the keys are a little weird. It's just the cuteness of the mouse. It's like, it's almost like you took a real mouse and just changed it a little bit and got smiling. Um, there's so many great things about this mouse. Uh, I, I just, I'm blown away. If the keys had been better, then maybe I would have used this for posting. And finally, <laughs> this one is, uh, is it perfect? No, I don't know about this tail going into the keys, which is weird, but, and the keys aren't perfect. There are issues with the keys. Who knows? I, these are things I did only with the first prompt. I you didn't get a second chance. This is a group, you know, first grouping is what you got, but the joy is like jumping and it's happy. And I mean, it's just exactly what I asked for. So I'm extremely impressed by this one. Um, this one is Dolly three. And it just kind of, Dolly 2 for me was like, yeah, it's okay, but definitely no mid-journey. And I would never go to Dolly. I mean, yeah, but Dolly 3, wow, just kind of like came and took first place in this category. This is what it appears to do really well. Um, but there are other categories where mid-journey would be like, nope, still the king. So the whole fact that, and this is kind of free, you get some credits each day um, in mid-journey I do have to pay for. So 
I don't know if this keeps up, I might have to be canceling my mid journey account and rather just go with this, but, um, not yet, but wow. Feel free to use any of the images you want or ask me for them. I'll provide them because it's kind of like, you know, I share this kind of stuff. So very happy about uh, how far things are going. And that's just race. This competition's making, you know, everything one do work harder. And for us, the rewards are awesome. So it's just going to get better and better every week. All right. Cheers.